Hi, I haven't released a video for months and now I guess I need to make a very good and big tutorial to justify myself. In the last video I've said that I will tell you about creating NPCs for the racing game, but, you know, promises are not my strong suit. Anyway I'll teach you how to create NPCs while I'm making a 3D shooter in Construct 3. The first part of this video is about creating Wolfenstein 3D type game, and second one is about traditional FPS camera and mouse control. Let's go! Firstly we need a floor for the game. We need to create a tiled background object for that. Nextly we create a sprite with car behavior. For a 3D game we obviously need a 3D camera. Let's attach it to the player object by creating this event. Switch off the default control and create these events. We need it because standard settings of car behavior is not suitable for FPS characters. We can also change the settings of car behavior for the best result. See what we got, now it looks like 3D game but it's too empty. To solve this problem we create a 3D object with a brick texture and solid behavior. It will be a wall. Let's place these boxes to make an arena for our game. This setting is responsible for the height of 3D objects. If we make first person shooter we obviously need a gun. For this we create a UI layer, change the rendering mode of the layer to 2D and place a hand with a gun with scope on this layer. Looks like a shooter game yep? But we still can't shoot and don't have any enemies. For enemy we needed to create another 3D object and sprite with animation. We need it because 3D objects cannot contain animation but static textures. So, you need to switch off other faces of the 3D object and attach the sprite with animation to it. Let's check how it works, if you see this white thing around the sprite you can fix it by changing blend mode to copy and adding a background. Also you can make a skybox like I've done in one of my videos. But now this guy doesn't move. We can change it by attaching the move to behavior to enemy and creating this event. So we have an enemy and a gun but how can we shoot? I've created another 3D object for a bullet with surprisingly bullet behavior. I've added the second image point to the player object and created this event that spawns bullets anytime we tap key F. Of course I've changed bullet settings like speed, etc. Then we need an animation of shooting to our gun and finally event of destroying an enemy. Now, we have a base Wolfenstein 3D type game. The next part of the video is about creating mouse control for the game. Firstly we need to add a mouse object, then we replace this event to start of layout and add this one to every tick. Now the camera changed position every tick but doesn't change the angle. To fix this we need to create a global variable for the mouse sensitivity and this event. You can also change the numbers in the equation for better result. For me it is decent one. Now when we use a mouse for turning we can change these events and make A and D keys move the player. But the bullets still don't move vertically. We can fix it by this event. Here you also can change the numbers for better result. And that's how you can make a 3D FPS game on Construct 3. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Also I want to thank you for your positive comments and feedback. They really motivate me to keep making more videos despite my laziness. Bye!